Welcome back to the session on LaTeX. In this session, we will learn to add blocks and divide content into multiple columns. Sometimes we need to display some information that stands out, say with a title and some background color, for example, do's and don'ts, etc. Using Beamer, we can do this in three ways. We either use block, alert block, or examples environment. The content that needs to be displayed goes within the respective environments. Let's see a demo. I already have some basic code written here. Let's add a basic block. Basic block, and instead of the content, we write slash begin block. The title should be information and we end the block and the text that is to be displayed within the block is this is topic 6. Let us build and run. As you can see, the title has blue background color and the content has light blue background color. Let us add alert block and example block slash begin alert block alert slash end alert block. Let us write one must never remain hungry. Let us add an example block as well slash begin example block and we say two plus two equal to four. All right, let us build and run. There you go, we have an alert block and an example block. Please note that we do not mention the title in the example block. Let us switch back to our slides. To organize the content into multiple columns, we typeset using the columns environment. We denote the size of the column using the slash column command and mention the size with respect to the text width. Let us see a demo. Let us copy paste the slide that we just created. Copy, come here and we say paste. Let us align it for better readability. Let us have the title as columns. So, we write slash begin columns and we have the column as column 0 0.45 of text width. Then we have our block in column number 1 and in the second column let us have the alert block and the example. Finally, we end our column environment slash end columns. Okay, let us build and run. So, the first block is in column 1 and the remaining two are in the second column. Let us typeset this into three columns. So, instead of 0 0.45, we write 0 0.3, we write 0 0.3 and the example we have in the third column. Let us build and run. There you go. This comes very handy when we want to display some information on the left and the corresponding image on the right. Recollect in the previous session, we had an image parrot with some itemized points. As an exercise, why do not you try out putting them into two columns? Let us switch back to our slides. 
So, in this session we had a look at different types of blocks and environments to organize the content into multiple columns. Thank you, have a nice day.